The exploration of space has offered science some incredible new discoveries. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at discoveries made in space. Mars is humming. The InSight rover landed on Mars in November 2018, landing near the equator of the Red Planet. NASA's robot has been measuring the planet's seismic activity and conducting tests on its geographic qualities. Its mission is to understand and learn about the geology of rocky planets to observe their evolution and gain some more understanding about Earth's history and potential future. Scientists cannot get enough data on rocky planets just from Earth, they need to gather information from others. InSight landed in the Elysium Planitia, a small crater located on a volcanic plain. This location is often caught in wind and dust storms. The data it has gathered so far suggests that the seismic activity and magnetic field on Mars are much stronger than the researchers estimated, about 10 times more. While collecting data, the rover recorded a strange humming sound that researchers and experts have not been able to concretely identify the cause of. They have their speculations, though, and suggest it is caused by both seismic movement below the surface as well as the wind above it. When combined together, these two forces create a strange sound. The hum actually cannot be heard by humans. It falls outside our frequency range but gets picked up on readings by the robot and its machines. So, any future human visitors will not be able to hear Mars humming. The researchers are excited at finding so many similarities between Mars and Earth. The infrasound, sound we can't hear, and the atmospheric turbulence are encouraging to their studies on finding out Mars's history and seeing what its timeline looks like compared to ours. Interestingly enough, Earth also has a faint infrasound humming to it. There have been reports of a hum that have been a hot debate for many years, even outside the astronomy community. Scientists can't really explain it, but many people try to blame it for certain diseases and health issues. There have been many locations across Earth that have complained of some sort of noise pollution and mysterious humming sounds. Now, InSight has identified a similar one on Mars. The robot was using a seismometer to measure the quakes underneath the planet. Since its first reading, it has measured over 400 quakes. It even managed to find fault lines on Mars, which confirms the constant seismic activity found. A few of the quakes have registered at 3 to 4 magnitudes, but most of them were so small that the machines and scientists were unable to detect their origin. Researchers also found that there are more quakes on Mars when the planet gets cold. When it cools down, it contracts, which forces the brittle layers near the surface to break in a way to accommodate their positioning. This breaking is causing stress on the surface that results in quakes. There are still many mysteries that the InSight researchers are excited about delving into, like how they recorded some type of activity at Mars's depth. They believe there might even be hot magma still at its core. They will continue to measure the activity and gather as much knowledge about Mars's geological history as possible. NASA discovers hidden Kepler 1649c. A team of scientists recently discovered an exoplanet orbiting within the habitable zone of its star. This means that this Earth sized planet sits in an area where it could potentially support liquid water. The team consists of transatlantic scientists working together as they go through old data from Kepler, NASA's space telescope that was retired in 2018. They decided to name this planet Kepler 1649c. The researchers had been searching through old observations to see if anything noteworthy was missed. As it turns out, the algorithm used to sort through the data misidentified this exoplanet and ultimately dismissed it. When scientists reviewed everything by hand, they recognized the signature and realized it was a planet. It is located about 300 light years from Earth and is more similar in size and temperature than any other exoplanet found by the telescope. They estimate that it receives about 75% of the amount of light from its star as the Earth does from the Sun. However, 
it orbits a red dwarf, which is known for light flares and can make for a very challenging and dangerous environment on the planet. It could prove difficult for anything to survive there. With Kepler-1649c being only 1.06 times larger than our Earth, it was an exciting find for the team to see such a similar planet as ours among the stars. As researchers are still investigating the exoplanet, there remains much to be discovered. They have calculated an estimate on the temperature, but they don't know what its atmosphere is like, which can ultimately affect temperatures. It is difficult to measure things accurately from such far distances, so they can also be wrong about the size. Their calculations have large margins for error, so everything is mostly speculation at this point. Regardless, scientists are excited to see more rocky planets like this one because it gives them hope of finding other planets with habitable conditions for life. A year on Kepler-1649c is only about 19.5 Earth days because of how closely it orbits its star. It is much closer to its red dwarf than we are to our Sun. Red dwarf suns are commonly found in our galaxy, so scientists are eager to see if there are more planets that they missed. In this exoplanet system, there is another rocky planet of equal size that orbits its star at half the distance that Kepler-1649c does. The researchers explain that these two planets are very similar to how Venus is half the distance to the Sun than Earth is. This solar system is incredibly interesting to scientists, as its data suggests it is very stable. They have found that for every four times the outer planet orbits its star, the inner planet does so nine times. It has nearly exact counts every orbit, which indicates a very stable ratio and history. It is consistent and likely to continue for a long period. Its ratio is nearly perfect, which astronomers call an orbital resonance. Typically, they appear at 2 to 1 or 3 to 2 ratios, not 9 to 4. It is quite rare, which might be the result of a middle planet that they have not yet found. Although they looked for one, it might be too small or at a tilt that the Kepler transit method is unable to pick up. The scientists working through Kepler's data will continue to study this planet's system and look for others that the computer might have missed. Kepler-1649c is just another Earth-sized planet that increases the evidence of potentially habitable rocky planets that can encourage life. There may be 300 million habitable planets in our galaxy. Late in 2020, NASA claimed that recent evidence and calculations suggest that our galaxy holds at least 300 million planets that could potentially harbour life with the closest being 20 light-years away from Earth. A team of researchers used old observational data from the Kepler telescope, which scanned the Milky Way to find habitable worlds. From that data, the scientists found that about 50% of the sun-like stars throughout our galaxy system have planets with environments and sizes that might be capable of holding liquid water. Four of these planets are within 30 light-years from Earth. They calculate that as low as 7% of these stars would have habitable planets, which leads to their 300 million figure estimates. The experts say that it could even be as high as 75% chance, which would then reach up to 3 billion planets. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope operated for nine years as it searched space for planets that orbit other stars. Its mission was only supposed to last three years, but it managed to conserve fuel so well that it stretched three gallons into nine years of orbit. It confirmed about 2,662 planets in our galaxy and proved there were more planets than stars in it. It gathered so much data that researchers had to use a computer algorithm to try and sort through it all. The algorithm still made mistakes and identified many false positives so teams are currently going through the observations by hand to check whether any planet was missed or incorrectly identified. The scientists narrowed their search to planets that were of similar size or at least half that of Earth. There are many factors that result in a planet being habitable, but overall it needs to be rocky. Any planets larger than Earth are usually gaseous. They also looked for stars that resembled our Sun in age and temperature and data from ESA's Gaia telescope to review the energy output of these individual stars. This data can inform them 
whether the star emits too much radiation or not enough energy to sustain life. They can then observe whether water is able to survive in liquid form on these planets. With Gaia's details on the stars within the galaxy cross-referencing Kepler's data, researchers plan to determine which stars and planets have an atmosphere that supports habitability. But what do you make of these three recent space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.